Welcome back to the Ottomans Petri Dish of Civilization 5, everyone. I'm thinking I definitely will want to expand onto this. Purely desert, but there's plenty of production to be had and, you know, quite a bit of food. Love planes. Huh. Okay, so we want, what do we want? I think we'll lead to math, go to mathematics. The workers are going to have plenty to do over here with all those hills. Ooh. Pretty small, but that means that one city should be able to encompass it within its borders. And maybe this one as well. It's not the nicest train, but it does have copper and whales. What are the other islands out here like? It's a jungle cell. Some gems, some marble, and a mountain. Gold? Okay, so I think, yeah. It's going to grow in two turns, but now a settler. Have a look. Ooh. Build me more mines. Never have enough production. Growth is good in the early game, but production is what really matters in the late game because you can crank out things. Especially when it comes to the military. Ah, there's the benefits of good happiness. Hello again, Genghis. Long time no see, I think. And he's right next to us, so I'm not quite sure what to think of that. Because I'm trying to remember any other games that I've had with the Mongols. And I think they've been the instigator of hostilities for the most part. Yeah. Well, Come on, give me that settler. Are they going to recommend a spot inside or...? Because actually, if we can get Petra, that'll be a fantastic wonder for this, because it's all desert. So the potential gold income would be... <laughs> and you know what? Get me another worker. Make building another city. They don't actually recommend a spot there. They don't recommend a spot anywhere except for there. And that's not actually a bad location. There's grasslands, there's jungles, and the Mongols might not like it, but. I want this spot though. Claim it. Go for a granary so you can get a bit of growth going. I don't think that's a bad one for when you're on defense. Because plus 50 range combat strength is a good bonus. Plus the no maintenance thing is also a good thing, but... One local city hip is from every... that's a very good one. By the time I get close there, I'll be in commerce, and I want commerce, because it gives a very nice naval bonuses. Or we could increase our golden age. Hmm, I'll go for representation. 14 turn golden age. Plus, new cities won't impact our ability to make, bring out social policies so quickly. Now, this city, if we do have it built Petra, it's going to take a while, but. Hello, we've got the spearmen now. Keep exploring. 
us, of course, we're going to want to build a road between Istanbul and Idrin, or Idrin, or however you pronounce it. Get a bit of extra gold coming in, and uh, there are hills here, so we want to in speed up travel time across this island of ours. What do they not like about this tile? It gives us two gold. Hello. Ah. Aloha pumehana ho mi ka i i o e ke hoa. O wau o ka meha meha, kumo i o ke i alala ni moku. I ma, e baia boia koe e kawa. Oh, I can't pronounce it, but I like this guy, he's friendly. For the most part. How would you like swapping embassy? Oh yeah, e ho o ma waku. You can't even write. Here. At 25. Aye. Ah, we are. Wonderful. Where are you? We've got a good city going. Oh. Well, it does. An embassy doesn't really matter. There's no point in refusing their embassy now. Okay, so let's start working. How long is it going to take them to build Petra? No doubt, quite some time. What it calls seems off to hell on happiness and oh wait we don't have it yet. Oops. We will have it in two. One hundred and sixty-seven. Yeah, plus everything and a free amphitheatre, which means more culture. So we're close to the Mongols, which are a fairly warlike civilization. And close to Polynesia, which should be a peaceful civilization. How about we get started on this road? We've got the income to support, and of course, the trade route. We'll bring in a bit of extra cash. Plus, if we can get ports in here, that'll uh, give us our trade routes across the water. Better is Britain. Whoa. Maybe we'll be able to get a religion going. What should we call this religion? Uh, iron working perhaps? Yeah. Sorry Polynesia, I have laid claim to this island. Hey, my. Yeah, he already knows where I am. Oh, you covert my lands. Don't even think about it. Because I'm very bad at land combat, but I have, but I know how to do naval combat. Oh, I should have at least. I've been moderately successful with naval combat in my other games. Just look at the Quarian, the Quarian Chronicles. I destroyed Cerberus with a quarry and navy. Take me mines. Colombo found a city state. Only two turns for a settler. I've got plenty of happiness, so why not make another city? There's plenty of stuff here to grab. The Mongols might not like it. <laughs> but screw them. I'm gonna do what I freaking want. So you can see the whole petri dish thing, all these different cells if you look at the map. Whoops, sorry. Sometimes lose a bit of control and I'm not actually lost when it comes to social policies. Just something new. I would have preferred you make the road going down there to provide more of an even spread over the island, but hey yo. <sighs> That would have been a great wonder on this map. Someone already has an enhanced profession. Okay, and... Let's go on this side since it's closer to our cities. Or closer side to our cities. And we don't want to overspread ourselves and risk going negative unhappiness.
There are no barbarians and we're not at war, so we don't really have to defend our, si our settlers. To to How about you, for once, actually ask politely instead of saying, We demand this luxury resource. Colosseum. Mm. Wait, Petra. We want Petra. Don't purchase. Produce. How long? 47 turns for that will. Hopefully. Have you put me on food? I want you to grow it a little bit. I mean, not too much. We don't want to go into dramatic unhappiness, but. Well, I'm losing it. But we want you to grow so that you have enough citizens to actually work these tiles. And we actually have a source of iron. Taking that city by ocean is going to be tricky because of that damn patch of ice. Irritating. But I suppose we can have ships shooting at it from over there, provided they can actually go over the jungle. Next turn, I'd be Stamboul for a bit. Claim some of the wheat. Fantastic. Now, after they get that new civilian, I'm going to step them back on production. The Rock of Gibraltar. Wheat or hill, let's go for the hill. Right, don't do that. We've got six happiness. It should, which should be enough to help us, or at least get us to uh, maintain our new city. Hello. Främling, välkommen till Snökungens rike. Jag är Gustav Adolf, medlem av den aktade vasaeten. Yes, I hope we can work together as allies as well. He's already medieval? How dare you! I'm always into the science production, I don't like being beaten! Still we've almost got gills and that should lead us to the Middle Ages. Or the medieval era. Trade routes, now we've still got negative gold. Yathbandu, actually the first to find them. Next turn. Hey. Yeah, get these dies. We're already working some, but never hurts to have spares. Yeah. Min vän, det är min övertygelse att den uppgörelsen kan gagna både mitt och ett folk. Mycket bra. Does he convert my lands as well now? No. Yes, yes. Genghis really wants my lands, so you can see. The map is certainly increasing in size. Being right next to the Mongols. Oh no! Who? Oh, we got some money out of it at least. Is this going to piss Genghis off? If so, well, tough luck. We'll have Istanbul work, have it bring out another worker. Send him over to Bur um, Bursa. As for you, food. Well, food's not going to be that tough to come by, but. If we've got cotton and we've got gems, we've got. We have plenty of luxury resources. And I accept. You know where I am. I just want to. Ah, damn it! It's not by the coast. It's a lot of marshes, though. It is still close to the coast, so 
we can have ships bombard the city and then send in some land units to, to capture it. It's for you, build a Colosseum because we're going to need some more happiness. The days of plenty of happiness are over for the time being. And I knew it! Alright, just to keep them happy. I mean, you covert my land, so you shut up. Why does Polynesia covert my land? Spread out over that away. Unless that's actually the edge of the map. Because if so, where are the other where are the other civilizations? We're not actually in the medieval era yet, are we? You guys, head over to Bursa. Make things. Hmm. No one's had the oracle yet. You know, build the oracle. Yeah, we don't have commerce yet. Now, how about we just get this and get a great person. Might as well just finish off liberty. And as for a great person... Hmm. We could send him to a city state. Great Admiral would, but a great prophet. He would help us get our religion out quicker. I sometimes, I usually do that. So we'll go for the great prophet. Yes, the unit needs orders. So, found a religion. I haven't considered what I call this though. I usually go TV, but how about ceremonial barrel? Yeah, do that instead. And pagodas. As for a name. How about that? Bac bacteria. I have spelt bacteria right, haven't I? Bacteriaism. I can't help shake the feeling I've spelt that wrong. That looks right to me. Ah, screw it. Bacteriaism has been founded. We are not bact bacteria. Bacteria that will spread over this petri dish, displace all other forms of bacteria. Now the Mongols. I mean, the English special ability for plus two naval movement. Certainly very helpful for getting ships into and out <laughs> out of the fight, plus their ships the line. But the Ottomans, they c melee ships are all similar to privateers the and the they have, have a chance to capture enemy ships. Plus, paying a third, uh, just a third for naval maintenance is certainly very, very helpful when it comes to maintaining a navy.